record. There you go. Again, good morning, everyone. So this is how we will do uh, projectile motion. Just to give you a very short introduction, okay? Here's the objective, and you have four objectives. But because we are doing the activity online, the objective is actually reduced. We will not calculate the initial velocity of the ball, okay, or the muzzle velocity. We will not calculate that one anymore because this will be given, okay? What we will do is simply study projectile motion, which is a two-dimensional motion. We will study or determine or calculate the horizontal range. And then we will also calculate the maximum vertical height. This is the list of the equipment if you do it in the physics lab. But because we are not going to do this experiment in physics lab, the list is simply for the report, okay? Now, when you write the report, what we do is we don't write everything in the data sheet. We only write what we call the rules. These are the rules, okay, to find the horizontal and vertical component of initial velocity. And there is another rule which we will use. This is to find the uh, horizontal range. How far will a ball travel horizontally, okay? And then this is how we find the last rule here, okay, the maximum height. These are the rules that are important when we are talking about projectile motion. I hope that you have your data sheet or your lab manual with you so you can make the notes, okay? This is the horizontal distance here, up here, and this is the maximum height. So these are the rules that you will follow, okay? Now, in terms of the procedure, we what don't do this in the lab. Again? Uh, which page? 26? Which page? I am in page, let's see, the 26, yes. Okay, this is page 26. So again, how are we going to do the experiment if we are online, okay? This is how we will do it. I'm going to send you the link for this page. This page is a simulation for projectile motion, okay? So I'm going to copy this link and put it in the chat. And I need everybody to go to this page, okay, so that you can open the simulation. But before you do, or you can open it now if you want, um, or you can open it later. I will demonstrate to you how to use the simulation, and then what are you going to do with the data? Clear? Is it clear for everyone? By the way, this will open in iPad. It will open in iPhone, Android, laptop. Any computer will open this simulation. Sure. Okay, shall we begin? So how to do the simulation? First, you have to click on lab. Okay, you have to click it twice, actually. There you go. Projectile motion is the two-dimensional motion, which happens when an object is given an initial velocity and an angle, okay? For example, this cannon. So when I fire the cannon by pressing this button here, you will see that it will shoot the projectile or the object, in this case, it's called the cannonball, at a curved path. So this curved path is called trajectory, okay? Now, what are the things that we measure from a projectile motion? Let's zoom out. Let me take a screenshot. You can actually save the screenshot, but for me, I will use uh, snipping tool. A second. So that I can point out to you what are the things that are being measured here, okay? So first, where's my pen? Uh, there you go. The path of the projectile, this is called trajectory. Okay, the distance from the source or the starting point up to the landing, this is called the horizontal range, okay? And the highest point of the projectile, which is this one, this is called the maximum height. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? So let's continue. This part here. Again, again. Victor. Okay. The path of the projectile, the curve, this line here, okay, this line here, the curve, 
that is called the trajectory. The shape of the trajectory is a parabola or a curve, okay? The point of the projectile at this trajectory, the maximum height, the highest point, that's called the maximum height, or maximum height is also known as Y max, okay? And the distance from the starting point, where is the starting point? Here, up to the landing where the projectile will hit the ground, this is called the range. The range is symbol X, okay? It's actually simple. Now, there is one other measurement which you have to know, which is what? The original speed of the ball when it's shot from the cannon, this is called initial speed or initial velocity. And the height is called the initial height or Y initial, okay? Those are the parts of the projectile motion that you need to know because these are the measurements that you will calculate or you will use to calculate, okay? Now, how are we going to do this experiment? Number one, let's go back to the data sheet or the lab manual and go to the measurements. One second. Here you go. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So in the observation, we are not going to do table one. Okay. We will not do table one. We will simply focus on table two because in reality, table one, this, the answer for this is the same. Okay, the answer for all this, even if you change the angle, the initial velocity or the muzzle velocity of a projectile will remain the same. There will only be very small changes because of friction. Okay, so this one, no need to answer it. We will focus on table number two. Okay, so in table number two, what are the functions or the measurements that we need to find? First, the launching angle is given, okay? The angle is given. So what are we going to do in terms of our simulator? You have to open the link to the simulation, which is in the chat box right now, okay? And then you have to set the following angles, 15, 30, 45, 60, and 75. So let's go to the simulation. How do we set the angles, okay? Let me zoom in. This is the cannon, and you can see the angle over here. You simply need to move it up or down to set the angles, okay? So this is zero, that means horizontal. This is 15 degrees. This is 30 degrees and so on, okay? Now, if you have any projectile lines, which we shoot in the beginning, you can always erase it. Just click this button here and the lines will disappear. Any questions on how to change the angle, Shabab? Any questions? No, no. Okay, good. The next no, the part of the table is the total time of flight. This one after you shoot the projectile, okay? After. Let's go first to the launching height, Y initial. Remember that the unit is in meter, okay? So if we go back to the simulation, the launching height is actually given on this side behind the cannon. You see, you can increase or decrease the height or the initial height of the cannon. And the launching height will always be given. I will suggest to keep the calculation simple, you can make this one, one meter, okay? Also, if you make it zero, the cannon will not go below 25 degrees. That's the problem. So if you keep it one meter, your cannon can go up to zero, even negative. So keep this one, one meter so that in your calculation, it will be simple. The launching height will be constant. So just make it one meter, one head, one head, one head, one head, one head. One, okay? Muzzle velocity. Where do we get the muzzle velocity from the simulator? The muzzle velocity is actually the same as the initial speed down here, okay? You can set it to a low number or you can set it to a high number, but depending on the distance that you will uh, shoot the projectile. For example, let me set the projectile angle to 45. And what's happened if, if I make this five meters per second? So the distance will be very short, okay? It doesn't look good. If I make this 20, it is too far. So maybe I can zoom out like this. This is okay. If I make this 30, 
or maximum is 30. It goes even farther. And even if I zoom out, will I see it? Yes, you can see it also. So that's the idea about the initial speed. So how much initial speed are you going to use? I made some practice before, and I find that 15 is more than enough. Okay, But you can go up to 20 as you like, since you can make zooming in and zooming out from the simulation. Okay, So this is up to you. It's up to you. You can make your choice. But here on the right, do not change this values. Okay, We still use cannonball. You can change it if you want. If you finish the experiment, you want to play with the simulation to get more study, it's fine with you. Okay, uh, Don't change any of these values during the experiment, especially gravity. Okay, What's going to happen? You shoot a cannonball on Earth. That's what's going to happen. But if the gravity becomes zero or less than zero, almost, well, we cannot go to zero. The minimum is five meters per second squared. This may be the gravity in another planet. Okay, what's going to happen? Your cannonball will shoot farther because the gravity will be less. If the gravity becomes more, oh, not that one. If the gravity becomes more, what's going to happen? Of course, it will shoot at a uh, less distance. If you mess the settings, you can always click reset on the right side here. Okay. When you click reset, everything will go back to normal. And then you can again set the height, set the angle, set the initial speed, and then do your experiment. Okay. Any questions on how to use the simulator before I continue? I want to make sure that it's clear for everyone. So, what do you write in the muzzle velocity here? You go back to the simulation. Okay, let's go back to the simulation. If you set 15 meters per second, don't change it. Keep it the same. Then you write here. Let me write with my pen. You write here 15. 15 meters per second. Clear, Shabab? Is it clear, Shabab? Clear. The yeah, clear. Data. Let's have some coffee. <laughs> okay. This is where you need to do the measurements. Once you have launching height, muzzle velocity, and you make the projectile, this is where you make the measurements, OK? So let's take an example only. I will take, uh, which example is best for me? I will take 45 degrees as an example, OK? This is only an example. You have to make your own measurements. So I will set my angle at 45 degrees, 15 meters per second. I will fire my projectile. OK, what are the things that I need to measure? Just like what I've shown you, initially, you have to measure three things. OK, number one, you have to measure the maximum height, this one. Maximum height or Y max. You have to measure the range from the starting position of the cannon, how far it will go. That's the horizontal range. And you have to know what we call the time of flight, T. So how do we measure these three things? You measure two ways. First, you can get this tape measure. Okay, By dragging the tape measure, it gives you the measurement. But I will give you a technique which is faster and much more simple. Okay, Use the ranging tool, this one. So first, I want to measure the time of flight. How long did it take for the cannonball to travel from the cannon? So just use this scope and place it at the end, and you will see the time, 2.25 seconds. Can you see it? 2.25 seconds. Go to your data yeah. sheet, and then write at 45 degrees. Remember, we are at 45 degrees, OK? The time of flight, 2.25 um, seconds, OK? So now you have time. And you have muzzle velocity and the launching height. What else do we measure? I like the ranging tool because it also gives me the range, 23.9 meters. So that's the distance from the starting point. OK, let's try it from the starting point here up to the end, OK, 23.9 meters. So where do you write the distance? This is the horizontal range that you have measured. Clear? Not calculated. It should be measured. So how much is it? Let me go to my simulator again. 
it's uh, 23.9 meters. So I will write it here, horizontal range measured, 23.9 meters. What about these two values here? You have to calculate it, okay? So how do you calculate? First, you can calculate the horizontal range first. V initial, cosine theta, multiplied by T. What is T? The time of flight, okay? So let's calculate it here. What's the V initial? 15 meters per second, so that's 15. Cosine, what's the angle? 45 degrees, okay? Multiplied by, what's the time? 2.25. Do you have a calculator with you, scientific? You should always have scientific calculator with you, okay? Can anyone calculate for me this answer? And then you can put your answer in the chat. Yalla. 15 cosine 45 multiply 2.25. Yalla, Shabab, calculate. I already finished. Oh, okay, okay. The first one to calculate, I will give him points. But because I'm not your teacher in the lab, these points will be just nothing. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, you don't have it yet. Okay, it's okay. You can also, if you are using a uh, PC, you can calculate using the scientific calculator of your PC. 23.86. 23.86. So, Abdulaziz, Faisal, Omar, you're all correct, okay? But it is best to put two decimal places, Omar. So, 23.8, if you remove 6, this becomes 23.9. So, where do you write it? Here. Horizontal range calculated. 23.86, okay? Finally, you have horizontal range calculated and measured. You have to make percentage error. So how do you make percentage error? First, let's remove this one, okay? Percentage error means you will compare these two values. The rules is given, okay? If you go to the next page, this is the rule for the percentage error for horizontal range. Hola, where is it? It was given here. Maybe they removed it. Let me check. Ah, there you go. Okay. So the percentage error rule, the one which you calculate is always the first one minus the one which you measured. So in this case, let's go back. Which one is calculated? 23.86. So to find the percentage error, percentage error, you take 23.86. Sorry about the writing. I have no practice with the pen. <laughs> This is minus 23.9. This is what we have measured, okay? This absolute value, meaning there is no negative. All of this is divided by, ah, there you go, 23.86, okay? And then multiply by 100%. So let's calculate it on the screen, okay? You have 23.86 minus 23.9. Remember, forget about the minus, okay? The answer divided by 23.86. The answer multiplied by 100%. So this is less than 1%, 16 or 0.16%, okay? So you take this and uh, divide it. Yes, go ahead. 23.84 uh, uh, values uh, for what? This is 86, not 84. Okay. From, uh, yes, from where uh, we got it. Okay. This is calculate. This one is measured. This is easy. Okay. 23.9, you measure it from the projectile, from here, from the simulation. Hadi, 23.9. Um, what about 23.86? Where did I get this number? By calculating here. That's the rule. Yes, it's clear. Clear? Yes. Okay. So what you will do, Shabab, you will complete this table like I did in 45 degrees, but you will do it using simulation. So the simulation, this is the simulation. You have the link in the chat. 
okay? The simulation is in the chat right now. Fill the information about the data sheet table number two. Once you fill the information, you can complete the report. How? This one is easy. Objective, go to the, go to the objective, copy and paste. Like I said, objective number two is not uh, included, okay? Because we don't calculate initial velocity, it's given. Um, what else? Let me go back to the data sheet. Well, now where is the data sheet? There. Apparatus, just copy the list, just copy the list which is in the lab manual. Theory, what do you do in the theory? As I have shown you, you will need one theory, this is two, and this is three. Okay. How do you explain the theory? Simple. Just explain what is the rule about. These two rules, this is the horizontal component of initial velocity. This is the vertical component of initial velocity. Um, where's the other two rules? Uh, down here. This is the horizontal distance equation, and this is the equation for the maximum height, bus. So that's how you will write the theory, okay? Again, table number one, we don't do it. Table number two, you do it by simulation and calculations, okay? And finally, what to do with this? This one, you don't need to answer anything. This is only the rules that you will use, clear? Just the rules. There is nothing to write here. And then finally, this one, you make a drawing, Sahe. Instead of making a drawing, Shabab, because you didn't do the experiment in the lab, what you will do is this. Go to your simulation, okay? Make all the angles. What are the angles? 15, 45, uh, 30, okay, 30, and 15 degrees. So how many now? One, two, three, four. Let's go to check the table. How many do we have? Table, table, table. So 15, 30, 45, 60 was 75. So let's go to 75, 75, okay. So make all the angles that's given, okay? Let's remove the tape like this. What to do instead of drawing, you make screenshot, okay? Instead of drawing, you make screenshot. So I use a snipping tool from my PC. This is my snipping tool. I make screenshot like this including the initial speed, Shabab. You have to take a screenshot like this, okay? Take the screenshot and then write your name in your screenshot. And then, where's my pen? <coughs> Excuse me. Write your name, like for example, Tim, and then your ID number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Write your section number, section five, for example, and save this screenshot so that you have proof to your teacher that you have accomplished or done the uh, simulation. Any questions? Shabab, any questions? Is there any question, Shabab? Doctor. No, Doctor. We put it with the, with the lab manual. What do you mean? You have to fill the lab manual, this one. You have to fill this one. You have to fill table okay. two. The screenshot, the screenshot. What do we do with the screenshot? You save it because, you know, in the lab manual, let me show you. In the data sheet and the lab manual, you have to do this. What is this one? You have to make drawing on yeah. graph paper. Sahih? Okay. Yeah. So instead of drawing, you make screenshot because you didn't do it in the lab. In the lab, you make drawing. But here we have simulation, okay. so it takes screenshot of the simulation. Okay? Okay. Okay. Any other questions, Shabab, before I will leave you to do the experiment? Doctor, can I see yeah. the, you are put the line for uh, some something in the book? Can I see it again? Which part of the book? Uh, this oh. one? No, no. The first one. The first one. You mean the theory? Yep. No, no. The another one. Next page? Yep. Okay. This is page uh, 26. 
Okay, doctor, thank you. Okay. Any other questions, Shabab? Doctor, in, in table two, why you didn't solve the maximum uh, vertical? Ah, you're correct. Maximum height. <laughs> Sorry, you're correct. That's why I always ask questions from you. Okay. So let's solve the maximum height. What is the rule for the maximum height? It is also given here. So just substitute the rules. Okay. What is y initial? Wahed. So first calculate this. So how do you calculate this one? V initial is uh, 15, okay, 15, multiplied by sine theta. So multiply by sine, what's the angle? We use 45 degrees as an example, okay? 45 degrees, uh, one second. This should be squared. 15 sine 45, this is square, okay? Divide all of this by two, multiply by gravity. So two, multiply by 9.8. After that, you will make plus one. What is plus one? The initial height, Had this is plus one. So let's calculate it together or you can do it. 6.73, Faisal is very quick, okay? 6.73, there you go. That's it, you fill the table uh, for table number two and everything is done. Any questions? <laughs> so uh, in the lab Mr. Mr. okay go ahead go ahead uh, time we can uh, bought any value you mean the total time la where did we get the time okay let's go back to the simulation so that it's clear for everybody i will erase this one now when you shoot the projectile any angle you can measure the time just take the range this is the range tool okay and bring it at the end and there's the time see 2.29 if i make this for example 73 degrees i will shoot the projectile what is the time take the ranging tool and place it here there's the time 2.99 okay mansoor you have question anyone else have question shabab it's actually easy it's just like you know playing If you have no more questions, I will leave you uh, to do the simulation. Again, I will put the simulation in the chat, okay? And you can save it. Shabab, the idea here is you must finish table number two and you must accomplish the all the angles, okay? Not only one angle, kullu, all the angles. And then you can submit the report according to your teacher. If your teacher wants it in paper, ask your teacher. Clear? You will not submit the report to me. You give it to your teacher. Also, you can ask questions to your teacher because they know the theory with the projectile motion. Is that clear? Hello? Clear, Dr. Clear. Okay. Yeah, Dr. But, there, uh, if, clear, but... Uh -huh. well, you can repeat. We can send it. Repeat which part? Uh, about the project, how we do it. Okay, okay. First. In page 29. In page 29, I mean. Page 29. This one, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Here's what you will do. You will go to the main page, okay? This is the main page. Uh, the starting page, and then you can, what we call, copy-paste. Okay, let me take this part. Page 29. Okay, what do you write in the objective, in the apparatus, and in the theory? You just take objectives number one, copy, okay, and write it here. Objective number one. Also, you take objective number three, and objective number four. Why number two is canceled? Because we don't do number two, okay? So this is just copy and paste by writing. What else? Apparatus, just take this list, okay? How many? This is one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. So eight apparatus, just copy and write it here. You can write only six, no problem, okay? What about in the theory? 
I already highlight which SQ. What do you mean SQ? <laughs> you can open your mic so we understand each other. The rules. The rules. The rules, yes. So in the rules, I make highlight which rules are the important ones. Okay. So let's go with the rules. The main rule, the horizontal and the vertical component, this one, this two. Okay. You write these rules and then explain using these words. Second, okay, that's the first two rules. Second two rules, this is the horizontal distance, how to calculate. And also, this is the vertical. Okay, this is the vertical or the maximum height. Those four, just write those four rules and the words that came with them with the highlight, bus, done. Okay? Okay, it's clear. Then. Thank you. Okay, I will record this session. This record, this session is recorded. I'm going to save it and then I'm going to send it to your teacher. If you're if you want to get a copy of the video that's recorded now, just ask your teacher later because it will take some time to record, okay? Uh, Any okay. questions, Shabab? Yalla, do it. Once you finish, yeah. that's it. You are finished for today. Okay. Uh, how okay, to okay. submit, please ask your teacher. Doctor, should I do it now or uh, uh, at night? It's better. It's better to do it now. Why wait? Or if you want to have breakfast, then get breakfast first and then do it as you like. But do it today, please. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, good luck. The link is here. Also, if you lose the link, you can ask it from your teacher. So please save it now. Um, because I have to prepare also. I have another class uh, this morning, okay? Yalla. Good luck and enjoy. Yeah, that's not just uh, period one, just uh, what about the period two and three? If you finish, that's it. You can relax. Yes. Just oh, okay. what I'm telling okay. yes, what I'm telling you, use the time to finish the data sheet so that you will not think about it later. Clear? Okay, 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 okay. Clear. Okay. Next week, you will see your teacher in the lab, okay? Masalam, everyone. Thank you, Dick. Teacher, did the class finish?